Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel, my remote class. Today's topic is hemophilia. It has been found that one out of every 5,000 male births is suffering from hemophilia. Now, what is a hemophilia? Hemophilia is an inherited bleeding disorder. What happens in this disease? blood doesn't clot properly now before going through the hemophilia uh, let us go through the history of it first hemophilia actually was uh, very prominent in european royalty thus it is known as royal disease queen victoria she passed the mutation of hemophilia b to her son leopold and two daughters the same Thing happened in the royal families of Spain, Germany, Russia. In Russia, the son of the Tsar Nicholas II, his name was Alexei. He got hemophilia from her mother Alexandra. Alexandra was the queen and she was the carrier and from her the hemophilia came to the son Alexei. Here you can see the pedigree chart of Queen Victoria's royal family. Here you can see how the hemophilia disease uh, got transmitted or inherited from one generation to another generation. Leopold, son of Queen Victoria, was suffering from hemophilia and her daughter Alice and Beatrice also got hemophilia but they were the carriers. And then we are finding the how these disease got transmitted generation after generation now let us see uh, why this hemophilia happens hemophilia is caused by mutation or change in one of the genes which make the clotting factor for a blood clot and these genes are present on x chromosomes we all know that xy stands for son and xx stands for daughter now for son one x chromosome comes from mother and one y chromosome comes from father they togetherly make xy whereas in case of female or daughter one x chromosome comes from mother and another x chromosome comes from father and they togetherly make xx xy stands for male and xx stands for female now a female has two x chromosomes thus if one x hemophilic then the other x remains normal so she becomes a carrier but in case of male or son if one x chromosome is affected then he becomes fully diseased now let us see the types of hemophilia hemophilia are of three types First one is known as Hemophilia A, which is also known as Classic Hemophilia. It happens if the clotting factor 8 is absent or decreased. Now let us move to Hemophilia B. This is known as Christmas disease. Here the clotting factor 9 is either absent or decreased. That means in low level. And there is another type which is known as hemophilia C. Here this happens due to low level of 
factor number 11 and parahemophilia which is caused due to the low level of factor number 5. Now let us see the symptoms of hemophilia. There may be bleeding in joints, there may be pain and swelling in joints, there may be build up blood in the area which is known as hematoma. There may be bleeding in teeth and gum and there may be bleeding after a shot. That means after vaccination the bleeding may not stop and there may be bleeding urine and stool and there may be bleeding which is difficult to stop. So there are lots of symptoms which happen in hemophilia. Now let us see how hemophilia is transmitted or inherited. Now these are the problems which come uh, in genetics. So let us see how this can be solved. Now let us consider the first case where mother is a carrier of hemophilia gene and the father does not have hemophilia and the father is normal. Now if this be the case, let us solve it. Mother has two X chromosomes and father has one X and one Y chromosome. But the mother is carrier. That means we will write like this. Then now let us see what happens. Now here you can see in this cross that 50% are affected and 50% are normal. So if we analyze then we find that one daughter will be carrier and one son will be fully diseased whereas that means 50% are affected and the rest 50% are normal. That means this 50% is not affected and this 50% is affected. So this is the way we calculate this problem. Now let us move to another problem. Here says that the father has hemophilia and mother does not carry the hemophilia gene. Then what will happen? Let us see. Father has hemophilia. That means we will write this is for father. And the mother doesn't carry hemophilia gene. That mother is absolutely normal. This is mother. Now let us see what will happen next. That means two daughters will be carrier and two sons are absolutely normal. So this is the way such type of calculations are done. I hope you have enjoyed my video. If you enjoy my video then do like, comment and share and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.